Hello and welcome back. So now you are familiar with activity and fragment and you have seen how you can include a fragment in an activity. You have also seen the fragment life cycle and how it's closely related to the activity life cycle. So in this video what I want to discuss uh, with you is how your activity can interact with the fragment. So the thing is that there will be times, there will be scenarios in which your activity will need to talk to your fragment to pass some data, you know, like suppose you have an activity with a fragment which lists out a set of items and you click on one of the item and it displays a detailed fragment, okay? Now how do you pass the, the ID to another fragment? So to do stuff like that, there is a fragment manager and this fragment manager is available in your activity class okay and you can use this fragment manager to get a reference to the fragment and then you, once you have the reference to a fragment you can pass data you can perform various actions on that so let's look at this how, how we can achieve this okay so if you remember we have this um, test fragment activity class or you can refer to any activity that you have and the way we do it like ignore all this code the way we do it is suppose I want to get a reference to the fragment I created which is the item fragment okay so the way I do it is I first call this method get support fragment manager which is available in the activity class and this gives you the fragment manager it's just it's just a class which helps you to manage fragments okay and then you can call the find fragment by ID method and pass the ID of the fragment so in our case we had created the item fragment if you remember so this is the way we can refer to it now what I did is I added a item ID to this item fragment it can be anything it can be simple ID and I've created a setter method like set item ID and now when this fragment gets called I want to use this item ID so this should come from the activity class so once you have reference to this fragment you can simply call set item ID and pass whatever value you want to pass so this will call the fragment with this data so the fragment will have the ID available with it so this is the way the fragment managers work I mean the way you can use it in your activity class to refer to a fragment and once you once you have a reference to a fragment you can obviously uh, you know set data and stuff like that so I hope you get a basic idea about um, the fragment manager class and uh, in the next video I'll try to show you how you can use a list fragment like we had list activity similarly you can have a list fragment so we'll look at this all this in next class uh, for now go ahead and try it out in your activity and maybe you can run your app and check it out until next time then see you bye